Hello YouTube and welcome to NG Rexon Gaming. This is a continuation of Cradle with awesome music in the background that I believe YouTube will probably tell me to turn off because it's probably copyrighted. Anywho, moving on. I believe my next quest is to go into... Yeah, I need to go back to the gardens. So I'm gonna use this machine again. And uh, I do need to investigate second pavilion this time. And I wonder if it's going to be another mini game. So get on the thingy magic and press the button. Here we go. Come on. No? Oh, there we go. Uh, excuse me. Can we go? Ah, I have to press it again. I see what you did. So, according to our robotic friend, the pavilion was used for little children to get their M bodies. So essentially, they turned humans into androids, but she said that they were too young. They shouldn't have been that young. So, there's some sort of conspiracy. He wanted to know about the look screen. When you undergo a transfer, you put your palm over the palm of your future body and look into its eyes. It's like looking into a mirror. But this part is crucial. The transfer can't happen without it. Then you're immersed into a kind of peculiar state when you see yourself from the side. On a signal, you push off with your palm and a mirror appears between you. And then you're alone again, in your new body. Okay, I think I'm stuck. I can't seem to get out. Maybe I have to press this? Oh, okay, I see. Is that it? Yeah, there we go. I thought I was stuck for a second. Okay, so we're going to number two. And the number is written somewhere on top. Uh oh, I hear something bad. I don't know what those black things do to me, actually, because I've already bumped into them a few times two's here uh but they haven't really killed me or anything they just kind of push you back and you, you, you your head starts twirling okay up we go and let's see what's inside tropical islands i see you opening okay okay yeah it looks like it's another mini game Let's see if it's anything similar to the previous one. Where I had to collect globes and toss them into... Or not globes, but cubes. And toss them into a little beam of light. So this is some sort of simulation again. Okay, here it comes. So yeah, this looks pretty similar to the previous, uh, previous game. Let's see what the rules are. The rules are collect pink cubes. Okay, so just different color cubes. Uh, and use bombs. Okay, so there's something called bombs now. Use bombs to destroy gray blocks. Apply pink cube to a red one to make a bomb explode. All right. So I think the the key here is to basically do this as fast as possible. This is what I've learned from the previous experience. If you do this really fast before the monster shows up and destroys everything for you, here comes the monster. Oh, jeez. Whoa. What the? What is this? What is this? What is this? That's what it, that's what happens when the monster dies now? Oh jeez. Okay. So I have to Whoa, I have to do this manually. I have to make sure that he doesn't explode in the middle of this thing. The music is kind of funky. Alright, so let's see how this goes. I'm just gonna skip this part. Uh, and show you the important parts from this minigame. I think the most important part is the fact that the monster now explodes into a bunch of gray blocks. Which block everything. Which is kind of not nice, actually. Oh no! Oh, I did this again. I tossed the block when I shouldn't have. Is it gonna come back? Come back! Come back! Yeah, it's coming back. Good. Here. Here we go. I'm gonna collect the first four blocks first. Uh, if I can. Oh, stupid cube. I mean, stupid monster. Exploded again. So I think there's no point of trying to uh, dislodge these. Except for right now, I have to get out. 
And oh, come on. This is this is a lot more difficult than the previous version. Here we go. Here we go. And here we go. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he at? Where is he at? Yeah, hello. Explode! He didn't explode. Uh, okay, so yeah, I think this is basically identical to the previous level, with the exception of monster exploding to gray blocks, and you need to collect pink, pink, pink. Ah, there you go. That's what happens when when he explodes. So I just hope he doesn't cover any pink blocks. And here we go. I won. So this was a lot more difficult than the previous mission, mostly because, as you can see, the 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 monster produced quite a lot of those gray blocks, and he was basically annoying as hell but you get some kind of a reward oh is that a visor yeah it's a new visor for the for our robotic friend cool so let's bring this to her i think this is what she was asking for and here we go we're gonna go back and i think we just have to return to the yurt and wait looks something looks different maybe not why am i stuck here we go things get a little bit darker or is it just me things look a little bit darker all right so i'm just gonna take the elevator back to the yurt and i told you about the mirror between you and your former body yeah so the mirror is turned on at the exact moment when your former body loses its originals right it is concealed to keep you from seeing your face as it's put to death the reason is that sometimes there are involuntary mimicking contractions that resemble a smile obviously that is something best left unseen that sounds pretty creepy actually so right before you die and turn into an android you actually smile interesting so at least she actually uh, you know she made it sound like what it really is you basically kill those people people and turn them into androids but they are technically dead. I think uh, Tabaha is here as well. Uh, Ger Gerbera Gardens. Wait, where is he? Hey? Hey? Oh, here you are. Hey, he's wearing a hat. That's so funny. If you got a death wish, why would you go there? Where? Oh, nowhere. Did you bring the flowers? Here you go. Atta boy, here is your lens. My word is my bond. I'm not even going to ask what you want with it. I don't know what's going on in your head today. And I don't want to know. Tabaha, what do you know about this amusement park? Stay away from it if you know what's good for you. Why do you think it's been fenced off? Because you shouldn't go in there. You'll be better off. You must remember something. Tell me. Think, man. I wasn't even around back then. There was an amusement park. And I guess someone must have exploded in there. Am I supposed to remember every explosion that ever happened? All I know is this damn poison-filled behemoth has been standing there for 20 years now. And nobody ever gave a crap. But suddenly you do. Why? I'm curious. It's just so... strange. Sure it is. But why do you care? What are you after? I want to know why kids were undergoing transfers. If they were, then there was a reason for it. Why does that even surprise you? It's just a regular mere transfer. But to Baja, they don't do transfers to kids. To ordinary kids, they don't. These kids, they may not have been all that ordinary. I saw them once at an airport, with their teachers. I remember those kids standing there all pale and silent. It was forbidden to talk to them. So there. At an airport? Where were they coming from? From all over. They were being brought here from all corners of the world. What's so special about these parts? Damned if I know. There used to be some kind of station here. A polar station. They were researching something. Polar? I think that's what they called it. It didn't interest me in the slightest. 
to Baja. I've got a request for you. Uh, let me guess. You want me to dig up everything there is to know about the Guevara Garden, am I right? Only what happened on the day of the explosion. Jeez, Anabish. Won't you just forget about this damn garden? Fine, I'll look into it. Thanks, Tabaha. All right, I've got a roll. Last thing I need is to rack up airs and lose my wits. You know how vulnerable I am to that stuff. I may look calm and collected, but I've got crazy energy and passion for life. You look just plain odd. Those glasses and nose. These glasses are one of a kind. You couldn't get them in your wildest dreams. But I got them at half price. That's because I'm a high roller, while you'll be chasing such luxuries all your life. Please, don't forget about my request. Alright, so that was an interesting story. So he did see the kids, uh, the kids and he knows what I'm talking about. So that means that he's gonna... Uh, either tell me about it or he's part of the story part of the whole conspiracy. Oh, the eagle is back Or is he? He's fine right there uh, So I'm gonna return the lens and the visor to the lady and hopefully she'll tell me more This game is occasionally stutters because it needs to load um, the textures and the environment But I'm just kind of curious why it happens so much I guess they, they use this, uh, an engine that wasn't ready for so much detail. Why are you back? What do you want? I have nothing for you. I guess you're just visiting. And who keeps closing this door? Alright, I'm back. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Did you bring what I asked? Replace your stuff? I did. The look screen as well? The look screen and the lens. Let's connect them. Disconnect the broken look screen. The input is inside right behind it. Install the lens first and then my eyes. Alright, excellent. So let's do this in the next part. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and give me later, guys. Check out some of the other videos and follow me if you want to see what how this game ends. Bye bye.